Have you ever wondered who the Neanderthals really were and what they did? Neanderthals lived 300,000 years ago, long before modern humans. They were a species of human that inhabited a significant portion of what is now known as Eurasia. Many people believe that Neanderthals were primitive cavemen, but new evidence suggests that they were more sophisticated than we thought. Did you know that they created art, wore clothes, and may have even made music? In this video, we'll explore the weird things Neanderthals did and discover new evidence that challenges our assumptions about these ancient humans. So, buckle up and get ready to learn about the surprising behaviors of our distant cousins. Who exactly were these Neanderthal people? Neanderthals are also known by the scientific names Homo neanderthalsis and Homo sapiens neanderthals. Neanderthals can also be spelled Neanderthal. The Neander Valley in Germany, which is referred to as Neanderthal, or Neanderthaler in German, is the location where the remains were discovered for the first time and scientifically described. This is how the remains got their name. It is somewhat ironic that the Neander Valley was given its name after Joachim Neander, a German theologian, and Hebraist, whose surname translates to New Man. The majority of experts agree that the first Neanderthals appeared approximately 400,000 years ago, from Belgium in the north to the Mediterranean in the south. Their skeletal remains have been discovered throughout a significant portion of Europe and into Central Asia. Numerous limestone caves can be found in this region. Limestone can maintain bone even after tens of thousands of years because of its high calcium content. They became known as cavemen due to the abundance of their skeletal remains that were discovered in caves. There were also pre-humans known as Denisovans and Homo hadalbergensis, who lived in Asia and Africa around the same time as modern humans did. In the year 1856, a group of quarry workers in the Neander Valley near Dusseldorf, Germany, discovered the first Neanderthal fossils that were subsequently subjected to scientific investigation. These fossils were found in the Fogover Cave. They discovered the majority of a skull, but it was missing in the face as well as several bone fragments from the arms and legs. The limbs differed from modern humans. The newly discovered species was found with fossils and primitive tools. Bone identification was hotly debated. Were they from an ancient human, a modern human, or a new species of human? In 1886, Spy Belgium found two more fossil skeletons. This supported the new species theory. Since then, over 200 have been found. Over 70 are children or teens. The sites are 200,000 to 36,000 years old. Scientists think Neanderthal Neanderthals lived longer, especially on the Iberian Peninsula. 24,000 years ago, they may have lived. They overlapped with Homo sapiens from about 10,000 years to 36,000 years ago. Neanderthals could also procreate with early humans. They looked alike. To survive, early Homo sapiens were shaped differently. They were similar to Neanderthals, but distinct enough for scientists to distinguish between samples. Neanderthals interacted with other species, too. We found Neanderthal Denisovan hybrids and other early human fossils. Svante Pabo published the Neanderthal genetic sequence in 2010. He sequenced DNA from three Croatian skeletons. Since then, scientists have compared Neanderthal DNA to modern humans. Europeans have 2% Neanderthal nuclear DNA. Genetic studies suggest they lived in small groups of 10 to 30 people that were mostly isolated. George Church, a Harvard geneticist, thinks a woman could conceive a Neanderthal clone. Because Neanderthals and humans think differently, he thinks this would be beneficial. He thinks that the being would be able to solve problems that we can't. How were Neanderthals? Scientists have reconstructed Neanderthal remains and used genetics to estimate their appearance. We think they had large eye nasal openings and wider eyebrows than us. They had shorter legs and arms than a larger skull base than humans. They had bigger chests than humans. Males averaged 5'5", 165 centimeters, and females 5'5", 153 centimeters. Neanderthals were not hunchbacks with Frankenstein-like gaits. Experts once believed that they would have had a sort of in-between human and primate posture. Now though, scientists believe they would have stood upright and had straight spines. This misconception comes from an early reconstruction of a Neanderthal skeleton. It turns out that the individual had arthritis, giving him a bit of a hunchback. The Neanderthals would have worn clothes and likely shoes, too. For the most part, they lived in a colder climate than we do today. The clothes they had were made out of animal hides, probably loose and similar to a modern poncho. There is fossil evidence that suggests they could create threads and had a basic knowledge of weaving. They created art. To add to this, some cave paintings in modern-day Spain have been traced back to before humans migrated to the area, meaning that they must have been made by Neanderthals. Paleontologists have also found what they believe to be a flute-like instrument at a site in Slovenia, but the idea that Neanderthals made music is highly controversial. Experts believe that Neanderthals would have been able to and must have developed a spoken word. From doing years of genetic studies, scientists believe that Neanderthals possessed the gene that allowed for speech and 
Egyptian language, but also the development of tools. The fact that they sometimes buried the dead and healthy members of a group and cared for those that were sick or injured all points toward them having communication through speech. What scientists don't know is what type of speech they would have had and if it would have been as large as the ones that the first humans had. One of the best ways that scientists try to get a feel for extinct species is to take a look at what they ate. Besides looking at the tartar on fossilized teeth and bone collagen, they have found fossilized fecal matter and analyzed it. What they found was that the Neanderthals didn't have one specific diet, but ate what the land gave them. They had a very diverse diet that consisted of meat, fish, and plants. What each group ate would have depended on what was near them. Those near the sea would have primarily eaten aquatic animals. Those in the forest would have had a diet of plants and small game. And those that lived on the Mediterranean steppes would have hunted and eaten large mammals. There's also reason to believe that they did not just scavenge for food, but that they also gathered plants as an early form of medicine. Both chamomile and yarrow have been found in the plaque on Neanderthal teeth. Those two flowers are known for their anti-inflammatory properties. There is also a decent amount of evidence that suggests Neanderthals nourished each other back to health if one got injured. For example, one Neanderthal fossil named Nandi lost an arm when he was young. He was also found to have two broken legs, partial blindness, hearing loss, and degenerative disease. Experts believe he died between the ages of 30 and 45. There is no way that an individual with all these issues could have survived on their own. He would have had to have had help from his community. When Neanderthals weren't able to heal their sick or injured group members, experts believe that they would sometimes bury them. They think this because the dirt was intentionally moved or looks different than dirt that had been displaced over time. There are also a few marks from animal teeth on the fossils. If the body was left uncovered, it would have attracted predators who would have eaten the available meat. These bones are also in much better condition than those of the animals of the time. This is because they were protected from the elements. We don't know why they would have done this. Was it to mourn, or was it a part of some religious practice, or was it for a more practical purpose of keeping scavengers away from the surviving group. Whatever it was, it has helped to preserve the remains for us to study today. Where did they go? Since most of the remains we found end around the start of the most recent glacial maxima, most scientists believe that they died out from the sudden shift in climate. This period also saw more modern humans entering Europe. There wouldn't have been enough resources for both groups, especially during a time of extremely cold temperatures and higher sea levels. The climate change would have led to the plants they ate dying and the animals they hunted migrating for warmer weather. The humans of the time had an even more diverse diet than the Neanderthals. They also also, even at this time, had long-distance trade networks that other human species didn't. This is probably a big part of why humans survived through the new Ice Age and the Neanderthals did not. Sometimes you'll see people say that the humans hunted and killed off the Neanderthals, but very few experts believe that this happened. Skirmishes between the two groups probably did happen during this time of scarcity, but there is no evidence to suggest that there was any large-scale violence between humans and Neanderthals. In addition to climate changes, some scientists believe that the early humans brought a disease with them that they were immune to and that the Neanderthals weren't. This could be why so many died out so quickly. And there you have it, folks. The Neanderthals were much more than just cavemen or primitive humans. They were a unique species with their own distinct culture, social structure, and even the ability to create art and music. The new evidence that has been uncovered has challenged many of our preconceived notions about these fascinating creatures and has opened up new avenues of research and discovery. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery, and we look forward to sharing more exciting scientific findings with you in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below for more content like this. See you at the next one!